channel. Today I am going to be doing a hair tutorial for you. So I blue dry my hair with the Dyson Supersonic Dryer. Um, I love it. If you guys want a detailed review on the Dyson, let me know and I would be happy to do that for you. Um, to prep my hair before I dried it, I used this Arnco pin stripe. Looks like this. It is um, it is a detangler and it preps your hair. I used to use the Color Fanatic. What is that? Color Fanatic. Pureology Color Fanatic. This is called Pureology Color Fanatic. Um, it's in a purple bottle. It is a primer for the hair as well. I feel like these are very comparable on what they do. Um, I do feel like this one's a little bit lighter, so it doesn't weigh my hair down as much. Now, I feel like sometimes my hair does need that one, so this is a good, every day that one's good when you really need some extra moisture, if you've been at the beach, the pool, that kind of thing. Then I went in with this Arnco Sale. So cute. Um, this is an amazing product. It's a soft wave spray. So you can spray it in your hair um, dry or wet. Personally, I don't know if I really love the way it makes my hair feel on dry hair, but I like to do it before I blow dry because it kind of gives my hair like a little bit of a grit so that when I go into curl, my curl is going to hold a little bit more. It's amazing. They all, all the Art Co products smell so, so good. Um, like amazing so I sprayed this just like throughout my hair before I blue dry spray that I'm using while I'm working is this way memory mist it's super lightweight um, I don't like anything heavy while I'm curling I just, I just don't. so I'm gonna section my ear from like the tops of my ears down And this is the Babeless um, Curling Iron in, I believe this is an inch and three quarters. I will double check and I will link the exact iron below. But I'm just taking this section away from my face and leaving those ends out. That's about an inch and a half section. Doing this one toward my face. I love to alternate. It gives you that super, super beachy look. I do wish this barrel was longer, but it's a good iron, so it's worth it. Now I'm going to take this big section and I'm going to go in with my next iron. This is a Hot Tools three barrel clamp. And I'm just going to clamp this one, two. If you do your whole head with this, it looks like super crazy, but this iron helps give you that like really lived in beachy look. You can also do this with a regular curling iron. It works better with a Marcel iron because you can clamp it forward, clamp it back, clamp it forward, and it works like that too. Did I spray this? Between this one and that one, I 
do. My clamp on that one is like starting to go. It's like not creating enough tension. Um, so I'm definitely looking into getting a new iron. I kind of want, I heard really great things about the T3, really great things about the GHD, but I also just like this Babeless. So I'm not really sure. Like a curling iron is a curling iron, whether you, like does it matter if you spend 300 or 100, you know? I mean, obviously my dryer is expensive, but Do you remember when you were like young? If you're my age, you would remember. I had a crimper <laughs> that was, I think, either, I think it was Conair, or it was from like Limited 2, I don't know what it was Limited 2, but it was like, had like velvet plates, but it was like pointy crimper, like not rounded. And I always like, was like, mom, crimp my hair. And we would do it, but my hair was so thick when I was a kid, and I always kept it short, that it wouldn't be like out to here, and I had to end up putting it in a ponytail. Like, it just, it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So, this three barrel iron is bringing back those days. This is Hot Tools, by the way. I don't know if I said that. And I um, dragged the end. So it's really nice having an iron that caught, like creates a lot of tension so that you can really drag those ends. If you have an iron that does not create a lot of tension, the ends will slip right through and you won't be able to like pull them, if that makes sense. Moving on to this side. Do a leaf of my face. I have tension and I'm pulling the end so that they are straighter. They do still have like a little bit of a bend. You don't want them like straight like a flat iron. Like, they're still like a little wave. They're just not. So 
the space in between each, like, so there's that. The space in between each one is what causes it to be looser. If you have no space in between, you're gonna have a really tight curl. Also, if you have more of a professional iron and it has a heat setting, really watch what you're putting your heat setting on. Um, that, I feel like, is something a lot of women, girls, don't really, like, really pay attention to, and you're frying your hair. I also recommend, if you're a girl who flat irons, Definitely try to blow dry as much as you can it straight and then go in with your flat iron lightly. Just like sweep it over just to smooth. Um, Now I have that much hair between each wave. This kind of look is like the perfectly imperfect, if that makes sense. Like you're not trying to make it look perfect, just when it's peachy and messy and pretty. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now we're going to take this part down. Now, this is when you determine like where you want your part. If you want to do a side part, if you want to do a middle part, whatever you're going to do. Um, I like a middle part. Side part is unusual for me. Um, just depends on my mood, I guess. I typically don't go for like a super straight middle part either. Like, messed up. Not a big deal. So now I'm going to take my memory mist again. And I'm going to curl these little guys away from my face. I always like to start with the one closest to your face curl it away because you don't want hair like falling towards your face all day long. It's going to be annoying. Um, I have a little forehead so I'm actually going to do the first two away from my face and then I'll start alternating. That makes
when I film, to film tutorials now, it's so hard because I used to have my brother when I, we both lived at home, and he would set me up, tell me if my lighting was good, put me in focus. Now I have to fend for myself. And I miss those days so much. <laughs> He'd tell me if it looked bad, tell me not to post something. I have my personal. I always think about like making him come over on like a Sunday and we have like a film day, but I mean, you want to do that? Maybe eventually. Now that both sides are finished, I'm going to take the Kerastase VIP. It's their volume and powder spray. It is amazing for texture. Um, I like to spray it in my root, and then I like to spray it through my ends as well. I also wanted to show you guys one more product. This is the Arnco Death Valley. This spray is a dry shampoo. It is the best dry shampoo I've tried ever. So I seriously recommend you all to try it. So I'm just gonna go through with my fingers and just like really loosen up all the waves. And this is our finished look. So you can see we have like the waves from the crimper. We have our alternated waves. You can spray as much of this in as you want. Today is um, my first clean hair day though, so I'm not going to spray a ton, but if I were going out, I would spray like a whole can of it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, comment down below and let me know what you guys would like to see next. If you enjoy hair tutorials, let me know and I would be happy to film more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe below and I will see you in my next. Mother, I'm doing laundry now.